Hey there everyone, this is just a very quick video because uh, today saw the release of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition for the Switch. Now I've received my copy and I'm really excited to open it up because it's the collector's set. It's the big box collector's set. This is the uh, European exclusive. It didn't get released outside of uh, Europe as far as I know anyway. So you know, I'm really excited to open this and I thought I would share the experience with you all. So, hello fellow gamers and this is the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition unboxing. Okay, here we go. We're going to unbox this behemoth. I can't even fit it in the camera frame, but we'll do what we can. It's going to be no nonsense, so let's just get this foil off of here first. There we go. Sadly, there's no peeling feelings here, but, uh, ooh. Ah, of course, yes. It's got a kind of... Let's get this out of the way got a kind of flyer on the outside that's what you see on the back so what we see in this collection we've got uh, uh, music download code steel book the game of course a vinyl large poster and an artworks book so let's pop that aside and get the foil out of the way okay here we go and what have we got on the back here this is what we've got on the back of the box Right, let's open this thing. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Of course, we've got our standard definitive edition game there. And we've also got our steel book. Oh, I do like a good steel book. Let's have a look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I've got a code inside. Oh, is this the mu Ah, this is the, uh, the music download code. So they've slipped that inside the steelbook case. That's not a bad idea, actually. Might scratch that off later. But here we've got the inside of the steel book. Okay, we'll just put the steel book uh, to one side with the game. Let's have a look at what we've got under here. Next up, we've got our vinyl. Oh, nice. It's interesting that how um, plenty of people are putting stuff on vinyl again these days. I guess it's the, uh, the in thing at the moment. I'll open this up and I'll uh, pop it on my record player downstairs after I finish this unboxing, so uh, you can have a quick listen to it. You'll probably hear it in the edit after I've uh, done all this. That's very nice. Just underneath that, we've got our poster, and oh, oh, <laughs> oh heck, this is this is bigger than I expected. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at that. Oh, come on! Don't want to add any creases to this, but oh, blimey, that is a big poster. Ooh, feels kind of uh, feels kind of rubbery weird. But there's our Xenoblade Chronicles poster. Nice. See if, we can find a, see if I can find a home for that. Right, so does that mean that we've got the art book under... Oh, yes we do. That is huge. I mean, if we just... There we go. Switch box uh, for comparison. I don't have any bananas, unfortunately, for uh, for scale. But uh, here's a, a switch case anyway, so you can see the scale of that. In fact, two switch cases. Yeah, it's much bigger than that. <laughs> oh, blimey! Let's have a look at this. Oh, I think that's. Yeah, I think that's everything. So let's just take this out of the way. Oh, let's have a look at this. So. So what can I say? That is a very thick art book. Oh, heck, let's just have a, a quick flick through this. Uh, now, just looking at the spine now, well, I can't... It, 
I can't really open it up that far without bending it, so we'll just uh, have a quick flick through here. Tell you what, I'll just move these to one side. There we go. Okay, so we're separated into different sections. We've got uh, designs for Shulk, Fiora, Still Fiora, Shala, Dunban, Familia, Ah, for Ricky. Lots of different character designs here. I'm hoping uh, I'm, I should be able to zoom in on some of this so you'll be able to see a bit more detail as I flick through. We're not going to see every single page, we're just going to have a, a quick flick through it so you can have a, an idea as to what's included. Ah, we're onto the storyboards now. And oh, this is interesting actually. The um, the paper that they use uh, throughout the book is this kind of uh, glossy white paper. So the artwork really pops. But on the storyboards at the end here, they've used uh, well, regular, slightly off-white paper. I guess just to differentiate it. Ah, oh, but look at that. That is... It's it's really it's always really interesting having a look at the uh, you know the development of a game, the steps that they go through, and these are like uh, these are all the storyboards for like different cutscenes that they use in the game. Oh, that is that is very very cool. They even go outside of the frame so you can get the the. The artists have given everyone in the in the team the whole picture, but we get like just the frame. I'm hoping that uh, I can zoom in a bit, so you can see a bit more detail. So you can see uh, more detail of the uh, of the sketches on here. But these are really really nice. See, they've uh, they've gone over the edges again. I don't know if that's a normal thing. Wow. So there you go. That's everything that you get in the European exclusive collector's set for Xenoblade Chronicles. I would be remiss, actually, if I didn't include the Monado keyring that came with this one as well. That is really nifty. Well, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. Did you pick up Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition? Or did you get even one of these special editions? But that's it anyway. I told you this was only going to be a very quick video. I've got to go off now and play Xenoblade Chronicles. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.